T. Woods was an electromechanical genius. Like Edison, Woods was years ahead of his time and founded his own company to research, manufacture, and market his electrical inventions. His versatility resulted in 65 patents relating to electricity from electric railway cars to an incubator for hatching chicken eggs. When the first subway rail pulled into Grand Central Station, Granville Woods had made his mark. In 1901, he was issued a patent for the third rail system, still used in subways today around the world. Concerned about the number of train collisions, Woods developed a railway telegraphy system, which improved train safety by letting the train engineer know how close his train was to others. And in 1899, he received a patent for an amusement apparatus. Wood's two-track ride, originally invented for indoors and outdoors, evolved into what we now know as the roller coaster. Wood's inventions caught the public's attention when he won two legal disputes against Edison. In fact, when Edison lost the second action, he asked Woods to come work for him. But Woods, whose patents were bought by General Electric, Bell Telephone, and Westinghouse, decided to remain on his own. By the turn of the century, a surge of inventions was well underway. African Americans received an estimated 1,000 patents by 1913 in nearly every field of industrial arts, machinery, transportation, agricultural, and electrical devices. Garrett Morgan was constantly thinking about the future. He'd say, if it's in a book, you can do it. If it's not, then use your imagination. And despite having only a sixth grade education, Morgan's inventions, the traffic signal and the gas mask, became two of the world's most significant safety-related devices. On July 25th, 1960, an explosion rocked the mining site. Three rescue teams died attempting to save the miners. But Garrett Morgan, wearing an invention he called a breathing apparatus, entered the toxic mine and pulled the surviving men to safety. Morgan's invention came to rescue again during World War I, when British and U.S. troops needed gas masks to fend off Germans' newest weapon, poison gas. Back in the States, city traffic was hazardous. Morgan witnessed a terrible accident and developed the first illuminated traffic signal which alerted drivers to proceed with caution.